let's look at the cardinals the cardinals of east africa and the first cardinal of tanzania the first cardinal of tanzania was laurin lugambwa he was born on the 12th of july 1912 and died on the 8th of december 1997 he was the first modern native african cardinal of the catholic church he served as archbishop of dar es salaam from 1968 to 1992 and was elevated to the cardinalate in 1960 he was born to an aristocratic family in bukongo tanganyika present day tanzania and baptized with his parents at age of 8 on march 19th 1921 after studying at katigondo national major seminary in U- in uganda he was ordained to the priesthood by bishop bukado huila a missionary of africa on december 12th 1943 lugambwa then did missionary work in west africa until 1949 when he went to rome to study at the pontifical Urbaniana University from which he obtained his doctorate in canon law on the december 13th 1951 lugamba was appointed titular bishop of febiana and the first apostolic vicar of lower kagera the youngest of africa's bishops he received his episcopal consecration on february 10th 1952 from Archbishop David Matthew with Archbishop Joseph Chwanuka Mission of Africa and Joseph Blom Jose serving as consecrators when his apostolic vicariate was elevated to a diocese on March 25 1953 Lugamba was named bishop of Rutabo by Pope Pius XII he was created cardinal priest of S Fran- Francesco a ripa by pope john the 23rd in the consistory of march 28 1960 he was the first native african cardinal of the modern era on the following june 21st his diocese was renamed bukoba described as a progressive lugamba attended the second vatican council from 1962 to 1965 he strongly pushed for the roman curia to be internationalized he was also an advocate of interchristian ecumenism after vatican ii lugamba was active in implementing its reforms he was one of the cardinal electors in the 1963 popo conclave that elected pope paul the sixth advanced to archbishop of dar es salaam on december 19th 1968 he later participated in the conclaves of August and October 1978 which elected popes John Paul the 1st and John Paul the 2nd respectively Lugamba resigned as the Islam's archbishop on July 22nd 1992 after 23 years of service during which he founded the first catholic hospital in Ukonga and a female roman catholic religious institute the little sisters of st francis of assis his death lugamba died in dar es salaam at the age of 85 he was buried in the cathedral of bukoba diocese after his remains were transferred from a parish church in the kagera region his death left just two cardinals created by john the 23rd raul silva henry quez and franz konig in 1961 the cardinal received an honorary doctorate in laws from the university of notre dame before returning to tanzania after the august 1978 conclave he visited the united states where he then received word of pope john paul's death archbishop emeritus of dar es salaam tanzania cardinal priest of nostra signora the second cardinal of tanzania is 
Polycarp Cardinal Pengo. He was born on the 5th of August 1944 and was ordained a priest on the 20th of June 1971 and a priest of Sumbawanga, Tanzania. 11th November 1983 was appointed Bishop of Nichingweya, Tanzania. 6th January 1984 he was ordained Bishop, Bishop of Nichingweya, Tanzania. 17th October 1986 he was appointed Bishop of Tunduru Masasi Tanzania 22nd January 1990 he was appointed Coadjutor Archbishop of Tanzania Dar es Salaam 22nd July 1922 he succeeded Archbishop of Dar es Salaam Tanzania 21st February 1998 he was elevated to Cardinal 21st February 1998 was appointed Cardinal Priest of Nostra Signora de la Salete. 26th April 1998, he was installed Cardinal Priest of Nostra Signora de la Salete. And 15th August 2019, he retired as the Archbishop of Dar es Salaam of Tanzania. 1998, he was created a Cardinal 205 participated in the conclave and 213 participated in the conclave 205 he participated in the conclave that elected pope benedict the 16th now the late and then 2013 he participated in the conclave that elected pope francis he was a priest for 51 years and a bishop for 39 years and a cardinal for 24 years this is also important to note that the, among the College of Cardinals we, in Africa we have 16, 16 electors from 15 countries but they are all 26 cardinals in 22 countries. In North America we have 16 cardinal electors in 3 countries and, uh, and they are 26 cardinals. Central America we have 5 elector cardinals and we have 9 countries. South America, we have 14 elector cardinals, and they are 24 in nine countries. Asia, we have 21 elector cardinals from the 15 countries, and they are all 31 cardinals in 18 countries. Europe, we have 49 elector cardinals from 18 countries, and we have 1,003 cardinals from 24 countries. In Oceania, we have three. Elector Cardinals, and they are all four in three countries. The total is 124 Elector Cardinals from the 66 countries, and all the Cardinals all together are 223 from 88 countries. This is as of 29th January 2023, currently. Currently, Cardinal Ruaichi succeeded Cardinal Pengo. According to Father Raymond Saba of Tanzania Episcopal Conference, Archbishop Ruaichi's appointment was announced by the Pope's representative in the country. Until his appointment, the, the appointee was the Archbishop of Mwanza Archdiocese. He served in the position since 2010. He became the Bishop of Umburu Diocese in 1999 and served until 2005 before taking up similar roles Dodoma Diocese. He will replace Polycarp Cardinal Pengo who is set to step down in August next year since he was appointed Cardinal 1998. As per the church's procedure, the senior archbishop is a natural successor of the cardinal. So, Archbishop Ruaiichi will automatically succeed Cardinal Pengo when he retires. The procedure also requires a bishop to retire when he, he turns 75. Cardinal Pengo will turn 75 next year. The first cardinal of Kenya was Maurice Michael Otunga, who was born in January 1923 and died 6 September 2003. He was a Kenyan Catholic prelate and a cardinal. 
who served as the Archbishop of Nairobi from 1971 until his resignation in 1997. Pope Paul VI, now saint, elevated him into the Cardinalate in 1973 as the Cardinal Priest of San Gregorio Barbarigo Ale Tre Fontane. Otunga was the son of a tribal chief and denied taking his father's place so as to pursue a path to the priesthood after completing his studies at home and in Rome. He was made a bishop in the 1950s and then transferred to a new diocese at, at its head. He later was transferred to Nairobi and was a participant in the Second Vatican Council. Otunga was known for his vehement opposition to the use of condoms and twice in the 1990s burnt boxes of condoms before the faithful. He explained that contraception was in breach of the Christian teaching and that it was in opposition to human vitae issued in 1968. He was also a vocal critic of abortion and was critical of priests who involved themselves in social and political controversies. His, his cause of canonization has commenced and he has been titled as a servant of God. Appointed 24th October 1971 and his term ended on 14th May 1997. Predecessor John Joseph M. C. Cathay Successor was Raphael S. Ndiji Mwananzechi, Cardinal Priest of San Gregorio Barbarigo Ale Tre Fontane, 1973-203. Orders. Ordination, 3rd October 1950 by Pietro Fumasoni Biondi. Consecration, 25th February 1957 by James Robert Created Cardinal, 5th March 1973 by Pope Paul VI. Rank Cardinal Priest. Personal details. Born Maurice Michael Otunga, January 1923, Chebukwa, Bungoma, Kenya. Died 6 September 2003 at the age of 80. Mata Mezerikodie Hospital, Nairobi, Kenya. He was the titular Bishop of Tachepe. 1956 to 60 auxiliary bishop of Chishum 1956 to 60 bishop of Kisi 1960 to 69 military vicar of Kenya 1964 to 1986 titular archbishop of Bomaza 1969 to 71 coadjutor of Nairobi 1969 to 71 president of Kenya President of Kenyan Episcopal Conference 1970 to 76, Military Ordinary of Kenya 1981 to 97, Alma Mater Pontifical Urban University. His motto was Per Ipsum et Cum Ipso et in Ipso, through him, with him, and in him. Sainthood, venerated in Roman Catholic Church, title as Saint, Servant of God. That was the first Cardinal of Kenya in the Archdiocese of. Nairobi, Cardinal Morris Michael Otunga. Let's look at Cardinal John Njue, Archbishop Emeritus of Nairobi, Kenya, Cardinal Priest of Preziosismo, Sangue di Nostro, Signore Gesù Cristo. John Njue was born in 1944 as a Kenyan Cardinal of the Catholic Church. He was the fourth Archbishop of Nairobi from 2007 to 2021. He previously served as Coadjutor Archbishop of Nyeri from 2002 to 2007 and Bishop of Embu from 1986 to 2002. He was elevated to the rank of a Cardinal in 2007. His biography, Njua was born in Embu, Kenya in 1944 to Joseph Nyanga, Kibariki, and Monika Njina Nyaga. He was baptized in 1943 and entered the minor seminary in Inkubu in 1962 from 1967 to 1974. He furthered his studies in Rome at the Pontifical Urbaniana University where he obtained a a licentiante in philosophy and the Pontifical Lateran University.
Lichentiante in pastoral theology. On the 6th of January 1973, Njue was ordained to the priesthood of, of Njue was ordained to the priesthood by Pope Paul VI in St. Peter's Basilica, returning to Kenya in October 1974. He did pastoral work in Kiriokom in the southern district of Meru. In the southern district of Meru, he also taught philosophy at the National Seminary of Bungoma of which he later served as rector from 1978 to 1982 and in 1982 he completed a course in in spirituality in the in the united states he then served as a parish priest in chuka and rector of the philosophical seminary of meru on the 9th of June 1986, Njue was appointed Bishop of Embu by Pope John Paul II. He received his Episcopal consecration on, on the following 20th September from Joseph Cardinal Tomko and co-consecrators being Bishop Silas Silvius Njiru and Raphael Ndiji Mwananzechi. He served as President of Kenyan Episcopal Conference from 1997 to 2003 and was named co-adjutor Archbishop of Nyeri on 23rd January 2002. Following the murder of Bishop Luigi Locati, he served as Apostolic Administrator of Isolo from 2005 to 2006. Njue was appointed Archbishop of Nairobi on the 6th of October 2007 and was installed on the following 1st November. Shortly af afterwards, he was created Cardinal Priest of Preziosismo Singue di Nostro Signore Gesù Cristo by Pope Benedict XVI in the consistory of 24th November 2007. On 12th June 2008, he was named a member of the Congregation for the Evangelization of the Peoples and the Congregation for the Clergy. On the 29th December 2011, he was appointed a member of the Pontifical Council for the Social Communications for a five-year renewable term. Cardinal Njue serves as the Vice President of the International Catholic Migration Commission. On the 28th March 2013, he appealed for calm and peace during the upcoming Easter season of the Supreme Court of Kenya, prepared to announce its verdict in the dispute initial around the presidential election held on the 4th of March between Uhuru Kenyatta and Kenya's Prime Minister Raila Odinga. Kenyatta and Deputy President-elect William Ruto were facing charges at the International Criminal Court at the Hague that they instigated post-electoral violence in Kenya after 2007 elections. He was one of the cardinal electors who participated in 2013 Pope Conclave that elected Pope Francis. On the 30th November 2013, Cardinal Jewel was named a member of the Congregation for the Catholic Education by Pope Francis. In June 2013, after U.S. President Barack Obama, whose father was Kenyan, said during an official visit in Senegal that African governments should follow the U.S. example in taking action of the gay rights, Njua replied, let him forget, forget and forget. He said that the United States has ruined their own societies and that he does not think God was making a mistake when he created Adam and Eve. A few weeks later, the Apostolic Nuncio to Kenya, Archbishop Charles Daniel Bav Balvo, alongside Bishop Paul Kariyuki of Embu, told a Catholic assembly that the homosexuals should be defended against violation of their dignity and human rights. They are human beings like anyone of us. In March 2014, Jew advised against participation in the free government program to vaccinate women of reproductive age against tetanus. He said that targeting women was fishy. Other critics suggested the program was a distinguished form of birth control. Government health officials said they were accustomed to such rumors from the government's critics. He led the Kenyan bishops in a campaign against the WHO-sponsored vaccination program asserting 
that the vaccine was designed to lower fertility. In June 2017, at the celebration of the family, Dinjuwe criticized men who put roadblocks in the way of marriage by making exorbitant demands for payment from the groom's family, Bride Price. Pope Francis, Pope Francis accepted his resignation as Archbishop of Nairobi on the 4th of January 2021. There is a question with succeeding John Cardinal Njue. The Catholic Church in Kenya is expected to experience a shift in leadership with the expected retirement of and succession of, of Nairobi Archbishop John Cardinal Njue. John Cardinal Njue, who celebrated his 34th anniversary as a Catholic Archbishop this year, is 76, which is past the retirement age for the Catholic Archbishop. According to the canon law, archdiocesan diocesan bishops, including cardinals, are requested to submit their resignation to the Pope on reaching the age of 75. Following the footsteps of his predecessor, both retired archbishops, Zacchaeus Okoth of Kisumu and Peter Kahlo of Nyeri, who both had it right to the Pope with requests for retirement to be approved. Cardinal Njue too is said to have sought retirement. He, however, remi remains a cardinal until Pope Francis approves. Cardinal Njue works alongside other, bish other archbishops from Chisumu, Mombasa, and Nyeri, but his diocese offers him a platform to address national political issues, which gives him a very high public profile. The recognized head of the Catholic Church in Kenya is the Apostolic Nuncio to Kenya and South Sudan, currently Archbishop Hubertus Matthäus Maria van Megan, who is appointed by the Vatican. However, Cardinal Njue's position is plumed because of its perceived power and influence on the national stage. Based on the history of succession in the position, one of Njue's fellow archbishops is likely to take over his position. Currently, there are three other archbishops in Kenya, Archbishop Antone Muhelia Nyeri, Archbishop Martin Musonde, Mombasa, and Archbishop Philip Arnold Subira Anyoro Kisum. Let's look at the Cardinal of Uganda. And the first Cardinal of Uganda was His Eminence Emmanuel Cardinal K. Nsubuga, who died on the 20th of April 1991. Emmanuel Chwonka Nsubuga was born on the 5th of November 1914 and died on the 20th of April, 20th of April 1991. He was the first Archbishop of the Archdiocese of Kampala from 1966 to 1990 and a Cardinal from 1976 until his death. He was an opponent of human rights abuses of the military dictatorship of Idi Amin. During Amin's rule, Cardinal Subuga spoke against the government's human rights abuses. He also encouraged priests and nuns throughout the country, fleeing harassment by the army during the civil war and later raged during the government of Milton of Boti. He was succeeded in 1990 as Archbishop of Kampala by Emmanuel Wamala. He became a cardinal in 1994. He was appointed on the 5th of August 1966, term ended on 8th February 1990. Predecessor was Vincent Billington, successor was Emmanuel Wamala. Other posts, Cardinal Priest of Santa Maria 1976-1991 orders, ordination on 15th December 1946, consecration was 30th October 1966, Ordination was 15th December 1946. Consecration was 13th October 1966 by Laurin Lugambwa. Created Cardinal rank on the 24th of May 1976 by Pope Paul VI, who is now a saint, and in the rank he was a Cardinal priest. Personal details. Born Emmanuel Chiwanukansubuga, 5th November 1914, in Chisule, Uganda. Busubizi Parish died 20th April 1991, aged 76, at Cologne, German. Previous president of the Uganda Episcopal Conference 1969 to 1975, and his motto was Martel Profer Lumen Chiasis. That of His Eminence Emmanuel Cardinal Nsubuga was 
Martel Profa Lumen Chiasis, meaning Mother, bring light to the blind. Let's look at the second cardinal of Uganda and the current cardinal. Emmanuel Cardinal Wamala was born on the 15th of December 1926 and is the Ugandan Cardinal of the Roman Catholic Church and former Archbishop of Kampala from 1990 to 2006. He's currently serving as the Cardinal Priest of St. Ugo, appointed in 1994. Priesthood. Wamala was born, Cardinal Emmanuel Wamala was born in Kamagwa Parish of Ragre Masaka District, Uganda. He was ordained on the 21st of December 1967, chapel of the Pontific Collegio Urbaniano, Rome by Pietro Sigismond. In the same ceremony, Stephen Fumio Hamao, future cardinal, was also ordained. He studied in Rome from 1957 to 1960 and had further studies in Uganda and United States as well as pastoral ministry in the Diocese of Masaka from 1960 to 1981. He obtained a Bachelor of Theology. During this time, he was he also served as inspector of diocesan schools and faculty member of the minor seminary of Bukalasa, chaplain and faculty member and rector of University of Makere. He served as vicar general of the Diocese of Masaka from 1974 to 1981. He was created chaplain of His Holiness on 25th May 1977. Cardinal. He was one of the cardinal electors who participated in the 2005 Popo Conclave that elected Pope Benedict the 16th, who has lost the right to participate in any future conclave as a result of passing his 80th birthday. As a result of passing the age, because he's right now in the 90s, in the 90s, he was succeeded in Kampala Diocese by Cyprian Chizito Luanga, who is now also late. Cardinal Wamala is a patron of the African Prison Project, an international non-government organization with a mission to bring dignity and hope to men, women and women, women and children in African prisons through health, education, justice and, and reintegration. On 9th October 2021, Wamala attended the burial of Uganda of Monsignor Henry Chabukasa, his 92-year-old young brother. Chabukasa was a former prelate of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Masaka and died at Villa Maria Hospital in Kalung District on 6 October 2021. At the installation of a new Archbishop of Kampala, Paul Semogere, on the 25th of January 2022, the congregation was informed that Emmanuel Cardinal Wamala was unable to physically attend the ceremony as he was weak. Cardinal Wamala's last public appearance was on the 21st November 2021 at St. Noah Magali Cathedral in the Chinamitiana Diocese where he marked his 40th Episcopal anniversary. His motto is Inte Domine Speravi. I put my trust in you, Lord. Inte Domine Speravi. I put my trust in you, Lord. His Eminence Emmanuel Cardinal Wamala was succeeded by now the late Archbishop Cyprian Chizito Luanga. Archbishop Cyprian Chizito Luanga was born on the 19th of January 1953 and died on the 3rd of April 2021. He was a Ugandan Roman Catholic prelate who served as Archbishop of Kampala from 2006 to his death. From 1996 to 2006, he served as the Bishop of Kasanaruwero. Background and Education Archbishop Cyprian Chizito Luanga was born on 19th of January 1953 at Chabakade village in Nagalama Parish but currently, now Chabakade is a parish also. It was, it was elevated to a parish in present Demokono district and the Buganda region of Uganda within the Diocese of Lugazi. 
Rwanga attended Chabakade Primary School. He entered Nyenga Seminary in 1964, between 1972 and 1974. He studied at Katugono National Major Seminary in present-day Kalungu District. He then studied theology at Gaba National Seminary in Kampala. In 1979, he joined the University of Clermont Ferrand in France, where he studied where he studied administration and languages. With particular emphasis on administration, later he studied at Pontifical University of the Holy Cross in Rome, where in 1994 he earned a doctorate a doctorate in canon law. Luanga was ordained a priest on 8th April 1978 at Rubaga Cathedral by Cardinal Emmanuel John Kansubuga. He served as a priest of Kampala Archdiocese until 30th November 1996. He was priest. Luanga was ordained a priest on 8th April 1978 at Rubaga Cathedral by Cardinal Emmanuel John Kansubuga. He served as a priest of Kampala Archdiocese until 30th November 1996. Bishop. Luanga was appointed first bishop of, of the Diocese of Kasanaru Uero on 30th November 1996 and consecrated bishop on 1st March 1997 at Kasanaru Uero by Cardinal Emmanuel Wamala, Archbishop of Kampala, assisted by Bishop Joseph Bernard Louis Wilgaz, Bishop of Jinja, and Bishop Paul Lokiru Kalanda, Bishop of Fort Porto, but currently he is also dead, and Bishop Wilgaz is also dead by now. On 19th August 2006, Rwanga was appointed the third Archbishop of Kampala Archdiocese of the Archdiocese of Kampala and was installed as the third Archbishop of Kampala on 30th September 2006 at Rwanga Cathedral succeeding Cardinal Emmanuel Wamala who resigned. On the 2nd February 2020, Rwanga issued a decree with Catholics in the Archdiocese of Kampala could only receive Holy Communion on the tongue and not on the hand. Death. In his last public appearance on Good Friday, 2nd April 2021, during the Way of the Cross, he criticized the violations of human rights in Uganda, fueling rumors of him being poisoned. Rwanga was found dead in his house on 3rd April 2021. Rwanga has repeatedly expressed fear of being killed. May his soul rest in eternal peace. And we address bishops archbish or archbishops as His Grace, the Most Reverend. Spoken style is Your Grace, and religious style is Bishop. His motto was Ora et Labora ut habeant vitam, meaning pray and work so as to have life to the full. His death was succeeded by Archbishop Paul Semogerere. The Pope Nuncio to Uganda, His Excellency Luigi Bianco, announced on the day of the burial of Archbishop Cyprian Chizitoranga that Archbishop Paul Semogere be becomes the administrator of Kampala Archdiocese. And later on, on the 25th of January 2022, he was installed as the Archbishop of Kampala. Archdiocese and is the current Archbishop of Kampala Archdiocese. He has already celebrated his first anniversary on the 25th of January 2023, the Thanksgiving Mass at Rubaga Cathedral. May God protect him also and see him through his episcopate service. The current Archbishop of Kampala Archdiocese is his Grace Paul Semogedere. He was born on the 30th of June 1956 and is the Roman Catholic prelate who serves as the Archbishop of the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Kampala. He was appointed to this position by Pope Francis on the 9th of December 2021. He was installed as Archbishop of Kampala on the 25th of January 2022 at St. Mary's Cathedral Rubaga in Kampala. Previously, he was a bishop of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Kasanaruel in Uganda. He was appointed bishop of Kasanaruel on the 4th of June 2008. Life and Education 
Archbishop Paul Semogere was born on 30th of June 1956 at Chesubi in present-day Wakiso district in the Uganda region of Uganda. This location is in the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Kampala. He attended Chigero Primary School before transferring to Kisui Boys Primary School. He then studied in at St. Maria Great Senior Secondary School, Katende, where he completed his O-level studies. In 1976, Semogere and seven other young men became pioneer students at St. Imbaga's Major Seminary, Gaba. This was the first class of this seminary, which specializes in admitting men to train as priests when they are older than usual and without attending minor seminary. In 1978, the late Cardinal Emmanuel Chuan Kansubga sent Semogere to the St. Francis de Sales Seminary in Mirauke, Wisconsin, in the United States, where he graduated with a Master of Divinity degree in 1982. On 21st November 1981, he was ordained a deacon by Archbishop Lambert George Wickland, the Archbishop of Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Mwirauke. Priesthood. He was ordained a priest on the 3rd June 1983 at Kampala by Cardinal Emmanuel Nsubuga. Archbishop of Kampala, he served as a priest in the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Kampala until 4th June 2008 as bishop. He was appointed Bishop of Roman Catholic Diocese of Kasanarwe well on 4th June 2008. He was consecrated as bishop on 23rd August 2008 at Kasanarwe. Well by Archbishop Cyprian Chizitorwanga, Archbishop of Kampala, assisted by Cardinal Emmanuel Wamala, Cardinal Priest of St. Ugo, and Cardinal Emeritus of Kampala Archdiocese, Paul Tichang in Nam, titular Archbishop of Amantia and Popo Nuncio to Uganda at that time. On Thursday 8th April 2021, he was appointed a Apostolic Administrator of Kampala Archdiocese by Pope Francis after the sudden death of Dr. Cyprian Chizitorwanga, who was the Archbishop of Kampala Archdiocese. Semogerere was elevated to Archbishop of Kampala Archdiocese by Pope Francis on Thursday 9th December 2021 as Archbishop. He was appointed Archbishop of Kampala Archdiocese 9th December 2021 and was installed on 25th January 2022 as Archbishop of Kampala, Uganda by the Apostolic Nuncio. The motto of Archbishop Paul Semogere is Crescamos in Vitam Christi. Let us grow into the life of Christ.